Happy Monday. Today we are going to do module five, lesson 14. And our learning goal today says, I can solve real world problems, so they're gonna be word problems, involving areas. So we're gonna take all the stuff we've been learning about area models and multiplying mixed numbers and how to find the area of rectangles and apply it to real world situations. So let's start by taking a look at our problem of the day. It says, George decided to paint a wall with two windows. So we can see here, that the window is the outer rectangle and the two shaded areas are the windows, okay? So he wants to paint a wall with two windows. Both windows are three and a half feet by four and a half feet rectangles. Find the area that the paint needs to cover. So the first question we have to write down, first thing we have to write down is what is this question asking? What is the question asking us to find? The question is asking us to figure out how much paint how, what, what is the area of the wall that the paint needs to cover? Now, when I have windows, do I have to paint over the windows? No. no. So we know that we have to cover all this part, the wall, the part of the wall that's not the windows. Do you agree? We're trying to find all this part right here. So without doing any calculations or any um, multiplication or subtraction or addition or division, what do we need to do? Say it in words. Tell your table group, what do we need to do? So we know that we have to first find the area of the whole wall, which would be 12 and 8, 7 eighths times 8, right? And then we have to take away the area of the windows, which would be 3 and a half by 4 and a half. But it's very important to know that how many windows are there? Two, Two windows, okay? So let's first find the area of the entire wall. We can find that by doing 12 and 7 eighths times eight. Now if I were to do an area model, I could split 12 and 7 eighths up into two parts, right? What would the two parts be? 12 and 7 eighths. What about eight? Do I have to split that up? So this is really like doing two multiplication problems. Eight times 12 and also eight times 7 eighths. Do you agree? Good. What's eight times 7 eighths? Seven. Good. What's eight times 12? 96. So what's the area of the entire window, or in, sorry, the entire wall? I can find the area of the entire wall by doing 96 plus 7, which is 103 square feet. Do I need that much paint, though? No, I, can, I have to subtract the area of the two windows. So if each window is 3.5 by 4.5 feet, how can I find the area of the windows? I can do 3.5 times 4.5. Okay, so if I were to use an area model, three and a half becomes three and one half, very good. Four and a half becomes four and good. Okay, so over here we do three times four, which is? Okay. Here we do four times one half, which is? Okay, here we do three times one half, which is? One and a half, good. Here we do one half times one half, which is? Go ahead and find the total area of one window. To find the total area, we have to do 12 plus two, plus one and a half, plus one fourth, right? What's 12 plus two? 14. Plus one? Uh, 15. So we have 15 plus two fourths, because one half is the same thing as two fourths, plus one fourth. So this, the area of one window is? 15 and three fourths. Square feet, good. Okay, but how many windows do we have? So what do we have to do? Multiply by two. Go ahead and do that. 15 and 3 fourths plus 15 and 3 fourths. What does that equal? 30 and 6 fourths. Do you agree? Mm -hmm. Which is 31 and a half square feet. So if my total area is 103 square feet, I have to take away 31 and 1 half square feet. Well, could I regroup? Can I say instead of 103, this is 102 and two halves? Do you agree? Is that the same thing as 103? Okay, so if I have two halves and I take away one half, how many halves are left? Okay, if I have 102 and I take away 31, how much is left? 71. So what is the area? 71 and a half square feet. This is an example of using a, what you know about multiplying and finding areas of rectangles to solve a real world problem. Now this one had lots of different steps, right? You had to first find the area of the entire wall, then find the area of the windows, 
then multiply to find two windows, and then take away to find out how much area you need to paint. When I add two fractions, I need them to be, a I need them to have a common denominator, right? Mm -hmm. So am I ready to add here yet? One half plus one eighth? No, I have to change the one half to become what? Four eighths. Four eighths. So what's one half plus one eighth? What about when I multiply one half times one eighth? Do I need them to be common denominators? No. So what's one half times one eighth? One okay, good. So use this and in your notebooks try the other two. What's three fourths times three fifths? Nine twentieths. Now for three fourths plus three fifths, can we add yet? We need to find a common what? What would the common denominator be? Good. So three fourths is the same as how many twentieths? How do you know it's 15 twentieths? Well, because I have to multiply 3 fourths by what version of 1? Five. 5 fifths. Good. 3 fifths is the same as how many twentieths? Uh, 12. Okay. So what's 3 fourths plus 3, five, three fifths? 27, 27. 27 twentieths or 1 and 7 twentieths. Good. This is review, okay, from module 2 or module three, I can't remember. But the reason why I put this in here, even though it's not from this module, is lots of you understand how to do an area model, but you're making mistakes when you multiply and when you add fractions, okay? We are coming up on the CASP test very soon for math, and it's going to be important that you know how to do this. This is a big part of fifth grade, is knowing how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So if you are feeling rusty about this, it's time to practice.